Hello everyone. In this class, we'll learn about thalamus, their functional anatomy and different functions of thalamus. The thalamus is a major sensory relay station. All general and specific special sensation except for the smell and afferent impulses from reticular activating system synapse here. It is an important integrating center for most inputs before relaying them to the cerebral cortex. Anatomical classification of thalamic nuclei. The thalamus is divided into three nuclear groups by internal medullary lamina which consist of white matter. It has been divided into anterior group, lateral group and medial group of nuclei. Anterior group of nuclei is mass of gray matter enclosed within the bifurcation of internal medullary lamina and which is called as anterior nucleus. Lateral group of nuclei, the mass of gray matter present in the lateral part of the thalamus and is subdivided into ventral and dorsal group of nuclei. The ventral group of nuclei further uh, contains ventral anterior nucleus, ventral lateral nucleus, ventral posterior nucleus, medial and lateral geniculate body. Whereas dorsal group contains the pulmonar nucleus that is the cluster of neurons lying most posteriorly also contains lateral posterior and la lateral dorsal nucleus. Whereas medial group of nuclei it includes following nuclei that is centromedian or interlaminar nuclei dorsal medial nucleus and midline nucleus. So this is the structure of the thalamus which has been divided into three important uh, group of nuclei by interlaminar uh, fibers. It is divided into anterior, the medial and lateral part. The lateral part further divided into uh, medial and dorsal group of nu nuclei. The ventral group further divided into ventral anterior, ventral lateral, uh, ventral posterior lateral and ventral posterior medial, uh, the lateral geniculate body and medial geniculate body. Whereas dorsal group of nuclei further, uh, they are divided into lateral dorsal, uh, lateral posterior and pulvinar. Whereas uh, medial group of nuclei constitutes dorsal median nucleus midline nucleus and centromedian nucleus. Functional classification of thalamic nuclei. Functionally, the thalamic nuclei can be grouped under two divisions, non-specific projection nuclei and specific projection nuclei. Non-specific projection nuclei. They receive afferents from reticular activating system and project diffusely to the neocortex. Impulse in them is responsible for diffuse secondary response and alerting effect of reticular activating system. The nuclei involved in non-specific projection nuclei are anterior group of nuclei, midline nucleus, interlaminar and dorsomedial nucleus. The anterior group of nucleus afferents usually arises from mammillary body of hypothalamus via mammillothalamic tract and the reference goes to the single singlet gyrus and uh, it is involved in the uh, it is a part of the circuit which is associated with a limbic system and is concerned with the recent memory and emotion. Whereas for the midline nucleus, the afferents usually uh, spinothalamic and trigeminothalamic, medial lemniscus, reticular formation, hypothalamus and uh, other nuclei. Its important function is it is a center for integrating crude visceral and somatic sensation. Whereas internal interlaminar nuclei afferents usually arises from the reticular activating system, basal ganglia and other uh, thalamic nuclei. And its important function is to integrate somatic and visceral sensory impulses before projecting this information to the cortex. It is also responsible for alerting effects of reticular activating system. Whereas for the dorsomedial nucleus afferents usually come from hypothalamic nuclei different goes to the prefrontal cortex that is area 8, 9, 10 and 11 and its important function is uh, it acts as an association center for synthesis of crude and somatic sensation. Coming to specific projection nuclei, specific projection nuclei are classified as a part of controlling motor, sensory and integrative functions. Motor function they are done by ventral 
uh, lateral where the afferents for this comes from cerebellum that is especially from the dentis, dented nucleus globus pallidus and afferents goes to the premotor area their important function is uh, relay proper receptive information and uh, uh, voluntary motor function that is motor control and planning and programming whereas ventral anterior uh, the afferents comes from mainly the basal ganglia from substantia nigra and globus pallidus and difference goes to the area 6 their function is mainly the motor controlling planning and programming the sensory functions are ventro uh, posterior lateral nucleus for which afferents comes from spinothalamic tract medial lemniscus and difference goes to the post uh, central gyrus that is area number 312 whereas ventro uh, posterior medial afferents comes from trigeminal and medial lemniscus from the face and taste fibers and difference goes to the post central gyrus that is area 312 their integrative functions are mainly in the lateral dorsal nucleus uh, lateral posterior pulvinar and medial and the lateral genitorial body where lateral dorsal nucleus for which afferent comes from superior colliculus and different goes to the single gyrus and hippocampal area for and lateral dorsal has a reciprocal connection with area 5 and 7 of parietal association area whereas for pulmonary area afferent comes from mainly the thalamic nuclei and cortex afferent goes to the cortex especially the parietal temporal and occipital area and its important function is it integrates auditory somatic and visual information whereas medial geniculate body it is concerned with vision audition and lateral geniculate body it is concerned with vision so important functions of thalamus are the thalamus is a great sensory relay station and integrating center for most inputs before relay, relaying them to cerebral cortex and uh, the relay station in the uh, pathway of somesthetic sensation coming from opposite side of the body in relay station for impulses coming from opposite side of cerebellum on their way to the motor cortex relaxation for impulses from uh, reticular formation and it's a relaxation in the auditory and visual pathways it's also relaxation for autonomic and emotional reactions due to its connections with hypothalamus and limbic system it is responsible for maintenance of conscious and alerting response of reticular activating system it is responsible for subcortical perception of sensation particularly that of pain and it is concerned with control of muscular movements via its connections with basal ganglia cerebellum and motor cortex these are the few important functions of thalamus thank you